Well, friends, Beth with Thimble Hooks. Thanks for stopping by today to see my sweetest new little worry worm. I was fiddling around making worry worms, and I used this color right here, my Karen Simply Soft. I think it's like soft green. And I said, wow, that looks like minty ice cream. So I just tweaked my pattern, my design a little bit, and now I have ice cream cones, ice cream cone worry worms. And I call them my sweetest worry worms. Aren't they adorable? The little googly eyes. But let's get started and make this. Barely takes any time at all. It takes a, another minute or so, more than my original design. So I'm gonna set all of these little guys over here. You're gonna want to have a couple of googly eyes. And I'm going to use Karen Simply Soft. This is like soft pink, I think. And this one is bone which is this this kind of a color right here this tan this tan color that's for the ice cream cone part and two googly eyes and I'm going to use use my four millimeter and my Aug Sun um, from the Aug Sun store in on Amazon I really like these little hooks they're very lightweight they're kind of short but I like the handles a lot and they come in their own little box I showed you all that not that long ago, but I thought I would let you know I've been working with these all week and I really, really like them. I'll go ahead and put a tag above so you can see that review if you want to get a little bit closer look at my Aug Sun hooks. Alright, so I'm using the baby pink, so we'll make strawberry ice cream. We'll make one of these right here, this little guy. So we're going to do a magic circle, and if you're not familiar with the magic circle, I do have a really short tutorial on how to do this the super easy way. It only takes a couple minutes and you can find that on my channel as well. So we made our magic circle. We're going to put eight single crochets in our circle and I love my stitch markers so we're going to mark the first one. I like doing that when I'm working in the round because sometimes I can get distracted just like anybody else. There's two, there's three, and eight. And again, this is a four millimeter hook and my Karen Simply Soft. Here we go, we have our eight single crochets in our magic circle and we'll pull our magic circle closed. And now we're going to increase our circle. So that would be two single crochets in every stitch around. We're going to increase from eight to 16. So there's my first stitch. Two single crochets in every stitch all the way around up to 16. There's number two. And we'll be back at the stitch marker in no time. And there's my last stitch. We just increased to 16. We're going to do one more increase around. And we're going to take from 16 up to 24. So the very first one is a single crochet. And I move my marker. And the next is two single crochets in the next stitch and that's our sequence all the way around. One single and two singles in the next stitch all the way around and that will increase us to 24. And there's my last stitch increased up to 24. So now we just have our little circle and that's his little head. Now we're done with this ice cream color and we get to move on to the cone color. See how fast this goes? It just only takes a couple of minutes. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go into our marked stitch, pull through, but don't finish that stitch because we're going to finish off that slip stitch, the tan. I believe that color is actually boom. And now we get to chain 14. 12, 13, and 14. So now we have a long chain hanging from our circle. We can tighten those up a little bit. We'll deal with that, all those tails in, a, in just a little bit. So now we're going to make the cone. Really, 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 really easy. The very first stitch that you can work into is a slip stitch. And the next stitch, I want five single crochets. There's one, two, three, 
four and five. We're going to do that a total of four times. So five single crochets in those first four chains. There's the first one. Here we go. Our first four chains, for the very first chain was a slip stitch, and then the next four chains each got five single crochets. Now in this next four, one, two, three, four, they get five double crochets each in the next four chains. And there's my last double crochet. And I did five double crochets in those four chains. I have four chains left and each one of these gets five triple crochets. So that's yarn over twice. And pull through, and pull through, and pull through. Five in each chain until you're all out of the bone color. And there's my last grouping of triple crochet. Just kind of a gobbledygook mess right now because we haven't twirled it. I'm going to pull this one a little bit tighter. One more row to do on the on the cone. So we're going to chain one and turn our work and work back down to the pointy end of the ice cream cone and single crochet all the way down. However, the very last stitch, very, very, very last stitch is a slip stitch. So single crochet all the way down your cone. And there's my last single crochet and in our very, very last stitch, which is kind of tricky to get to just because it was a slip stitch in the first place, is a another slip stitch. And there's my slip stitch. Now we're done with the cone. So at this point, we can take out, we don't need that anymore. We can cut off from our pink. Before we swirl this together, let's just tie this in a knot. The ending tail for the pink and the starting tail for the cone. I just like to tie that off. We can pull this one a little tighter, close our center, and now we're just going to twirl them around like you do with the curly cue. get our stitches facing the right direction. Just keep following and following and twisting and twist until you have a cone that you like. They're all going to be a little bit different just because the twist is going to be however you want to twist it. Voila! Ice cream cone. Now at this point, I'm going to take out a needle and take this, bring it around to the front and give this just a quick little slip stitch anywhere you want to here, just to keep that one down if you wanted to. You don't have to. I just decided to keep the cone all in one place. Just send that tail on down. And now he's gone. That tail's just hanging out right here. We can snip him off a little bit shorter so he's not showing anymore. Take our final end and just weave him back up through the center. Pull it as tightly as you wish. To make the point of your cone. And then we'll snip. Snip that one. Because now he's inside the cone. Gone. The last thing we need to do is get rid of these pink tails. So I just take my very beginning tail from my magic circle 
and get it a little bit closer to the other ending tail so we can tie them in a knot. Tie them in a knot. Snip, snip, and there's our cone. He's so cute. All we need to do at this point is put the googly eyes on wherever you want. There we go. He's done. How cute is that? You make them in any color you want, whatever kind of ice cream you like. So if you haven't made your 100 worry worms yet, you can switch it up a little bit and make some ice cream cones to make the sweetest worry worms ever. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks. Tell all your friends about me. And make a whole bunch of new worry worms. See you soon. Bye.